far as the eye can see, look at all this. After getting slammed by storms, it's no surprise that California snowpack measured in as one of the largest in state history. Tonight, KCAL News reporter Nicole Comstock is live in Altadena with what this means for us in the long run. Nicole? Well, Susie, the hillsides all around us are lush and green, and many of them are now covered in wildflowers. So people are definitely flocking to see these. A park aide here at Eaton Canyon told me tonight that over the weekend he counted 2,000 people out here during his hike. So all of this rain and snow we've received this winter is definitely having a big impact here. SoCal hasn't seen this for a very long time. The sight of water flowing through creeks in the San Gabriel Mountains. Here at Eaton Canyon, it's catching many hikers off guard. It was bone dry the last time I came out. No. There's usually no water. We were up to probably our mid thigh in river crossings. There were 10 total each direction on this hike. Carolyn even carried her sister over some of those creek crossings on their way to this now raging 40 foot waterfall and after the three driest years on record in California, April Sierra snow survey now confirms the statewide snowpack is currently 237% of average for this time of year. That means we've tied the oldest statewide snowpack record from 1952 back when climatologists started recording snowpack manually. This is actually incredible. We've been recording rainfall in Pasadena for the last 115 years, and the 2023 winter is now in third place for the wettest water year ever recorded. Edgar McGregor is a park aide here at the Eaton Canyon Nature Center. He says all that rain and snow we got in the San Gabriels will stick around for quite a while. The waterfall will be flowing all year long and even into next winter. Of course, the canyon will begin to dry out as we get into July and August, but still by June, it'll be green out here. It also means means the native plants and animals that have been suffering through the drought will finally be able to start recovering. But the Department of Water Resources says long term drought conditions in the Colorado River Basin will continue to impact the water supply across the state. I heard there was more rain here than in Seattle. It's pretty special. I keep telling my kids, you know, savor this. It's you may not see this for a minute. And the good news is that rain and snow were spread out over the entire winter instead of coming down in one big storm system, which means there were less damaging flood events here. Also, the rain really had time to soak into the ground, which is much better for these habitats. Reporting live in Pasadena, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News. All right, Nicole, thank you very much. A fiery fatal crash on the 